Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at, Gen at Montevilla Sewing Center, and we're going to talk about the built-in bar tack on Janome machines. Now, I'm showing this to you on the 3160, but any Janome machine that has the built-in bar tack is formed the same way, and the adjustments are made the same way, even if the controls are in a slightly different position. So when you make a bar tack, you want to go to stitch number 58. So I've got the cursors over here on 00. zero. I'm going to simply go past that, here, down 58. Now notice up here it calls for foot F. So we take off foot A, put that in our little accessory tray there. Now foot F is different than foot A because it has this groove at the bottom. So when you're doing a bar tack, you're putting a fair amount of close together stitches in the fabric, which is gonna put a lot of extra bulk in the fabric. So you want that to be able to flow through. So that's why we use foot F. We put this on here, set it down like that, put the thread under the foot, get ready to sew. Now, the bar tack is going to start at one end, go backwards, and then go forwards and do a zigzag. So whichever way you want to do your bar tack, remember it starts here, forms towards the back. Now, generic bar tack is going to have, well, you'll just watch the steps here. So it makes our little locking stitch at the beginning, then it steps backwards, and I'll speed it up a little bit. It's about a 5 8 inch length. That's your default setting for your bar tack. You may want to have one shorter than that, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can also make your bar tack wider. That beep beep means time to take your foot off the pedal. It's all done. You can make it wider by moving your cursor over here. It makes a wider bar tack. You can make the stitches denser or looser with your stitch length. But back over here, if you want to have your bar tack actually shorter, you're going to need to use the reverse button. Now, once you've sewn a bar tack, it's going to keep making the same size of bar tack throughout. And I'll show you. If I wanted to shorten this, let's say I only wanted to go, say, a quarter of an inch, and then I push this, Hear that quick three beeps? That means it's not going to stop there. It's just going to keep on going back. So if I wanted it shorter, I actually need to get out of 58 and back into it new before I've even done any stitching of a bar tack. So I'm going to show you this again. This time I'm going to only go back about three stitches. One, two, three. At that point, I push this. See how it made that just that single beep? Now, it's going to make a shorter bar tack. It still stitches backwards another stitch or two, so keep that in mind. Wherever you push this is going to be a little bit longer than that. So if you want a quarter inch, then push it after it's got maybe uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay. So here's our shorter bar tack. Remember, we do that after before we have chained, uh, done a uh, stitch to begin with. You can do this, and if you need to start over, just get out of 58, get back into 58, and then you can start from new. So that's how you make a bar tack on Janome machines. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up, and if you have comments or questions, you can leave that in the area down below. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye.